The start of the floor 30 is the only part of the stage that plays out in almost exactly the same way every time, which makes it fairly easy to optimize. Every player has their own start off, but to give you an idea, I'll go over one of mine and break it down in detail. Before I do that, however, I have to address something. I've seen several players use Fishman, Maglev, and other units to chip at Hermit at the start without luring instantly. Unless you're playing the stage without wavy new units, do not do this. Luring instantly not only allows you to chip Hermit faster by deploying Musashi right away, and also allowing you to deploy your second one faster, but it also sets up a certain timing, which I'll come back to a bit later. Now let's move on to the start off itself. I'm using this run as a reference, and I'll leave the link in the description if you want to take a look at it for yourself. As soon as the battle starts, I upgrade my worker cat to level 2. I don't go for level 3 yet, since I need the money for later. For the reasons I explained earlier, I lure Hermit right away. When Hermit gets close enough, I set up the unit to bait his attack. This can be any unit, but I choose Maglev to deal some damage, and also because he's fast. I also want to make a point about the exact luring distance. I usually use a visual cue for it. After this, I spawn Musashi with a slight delay. This is important for later. I send out Swimmer for chip damage, followed by two Manic Mohawks. Now the first blogger is here. Many Stardust handle him with Rice Ball, but I choose to preemptively use Manic Island instead for extra chip damage. Some bad procs from Blogger might screw you over here, so using Rice Ball and Manic Mohawk for this part is a bit safer. Send out Maglev and Swimmer once each, then resume Meat Shielding. When I have the money for it, I time Bahamut with Musashi's attack. This prevents Musashi from pushing too far ahead. The timing for this knockback might change depending on your unit levels and forms, what combos you're using, and what units you send out for chip damage. Before the first snitch, I send out Maglev for extra chip damage. The way I deal with the first snitch honestly depends on what lineup I'm using, though a lot of the time it involves using Manic Island, the Slow Beam, and a hit from Musashi. Depending on your combos, this Musashi hit might be the one that knocks Hermit back, so be careful. After this, the second blogger will come out. I use him as a timing cue to spawn Maglev. If I send out Maglev after blogger, he won't be off cooldown for the first dodge. If Musashi pushed ahead, I attempt to use blogger to reposition. The first dark dodge will come now. If you delayed Musashi a tiny bit, his attack will line up with the dark dodge's spawn timer. I use Maglev to finish it off, giving me extra money. This marks the end of the start off. After this, the next few peons, until about the second doge, always spawn at roughly the same times, but RNG will affect their spawn intervals greatly and you can't know for sure. After a few more peon waves, their spawn times will become 100% unpredictable. In other words, the rest of the stage is mostly improv, depending on what units you have at your disposal to chip, and what combos you're using. Your own start off can vary. As an example, with Cool Japan, it's possible to get two Hermit knockbacks before the first nage even reaches you. Don't be afraid to try new things. Improving on what you already have is always good, whether it's a matter of making certain peon interaction easier, or getting in that extra bit of damage.